Hey traders and investors, this is Charlie Mandan of eTarkGuys.com. If you look down in the description of this video, we have a link to our new website. We are offering a 10-day free trial. Today was day number two, trying out the live webcam where we're looking at intraday charts, 5, 15-minute, and 30-minute time frames, trying to capture quicker moves, looking for day trading or option flipping strategies. We are also looking at swing trading and investing strategies. So we have a little bit of something for everybody. This is Guild, G-I-L-D, on the daily and weekly time frame. We're seeing right here some resistance at the 120 level. We see it, saw it pull back on this initial bounce from the pullback of its highs. And we are now seeing the past two candlesticks break above 120 and pulling back. So once we get a close above the 120 level, that's a great sign for the bulls. But until that happens, we could potentially see a little bit pullback here. We have the 20-day moving average, the 50-day moving average, and the 10-day moving average all in the same level. I like to call this a re uh, support band when there's this many moving averages all together. So the 10-day is 116.15, the 20-day is 116.20, and the 50-day is 116.33. Those are all levels you're going to be watching. The RSI has a lot of room to go before it hits overbought. The weekly chart for Guild, we are seeing um, a higher high is being set. This exemplifies the difficulty the stock price is having getting over 120 with the past four weeks being unable to do so. Saw a nice bounce off the middle Bollinger Band support. 10-week moving average support is 116.71. The bulls want to see a close above that level ideally and really ideally a close above 120. That would look great on this weekly chart. RSI still has some room to go. MACD is trending up, staying parallel to the red line with the black line. Going to have a decreasing week in volume. There's still three trading days left to go, but you can see comparatively this is not even close, which doesn't really mean a bad thing, although the bulls would want to see an increase in volume on a nice bullish move if that were to unfold. So we'll have to keep checking back in with Guild and see how it plays out. I put out these videos daily if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I appreciate you watching the video.